I'm Ryan Terpstra, and I'm sitting on an oak barrel in the middle of the woods in northern Michigan. And you might ask why. On this show, we want to encourage people to get out and explore Michigan. If you haven't been to the tiny northern town of Bel Air, well, you need to head up there. It's the home of Short's Brewing Company, a leader in the Michigan beer scene, and their founder, Joe Short, is one of the biggest rock stars in this industry. I couldn't concentrate on college work because I was really more interested in writing beer recipes. So I said, I'll just go try to be a brewer, and if that doesn't work out, I'll just go back to college, right? I haven't had to go back to college yet, so that's a good sign. When I first moved here and then went to college and met Joe, I thought that this was the like worst idea from a business point of view, but I thought it would be really fun. So um, that's why we got into it. But yeah, I was uh, 21 when I got my first professional brewing job. I was 23 when I started working on shorts, and I was 25 when I opened shorts. Been at it for just over a decade now. One thing shorts is known for is their innovation. If you go to the pub, their tap list is a mile long, full of crazy ideas and flavors you will not find anywhere else. It's been a great product since day one, and Joe does things that other brewers don't do, and every day he's developing another product that's just awesome to drink, and you got to try to find it, because it's gone before it's there. We've tried as many as we possibly can, and uh, Joe never uh, ceases to amaze us. We come up with some good stuff. So. I love the challenge of blowing minds through fermentation. That's been the part of this that I live for. Like, what is possible? What do people think is not possible? And is there a way to actually make it possible and prove that we can do it? To really go beyond what is traditional craft brewing. What is maybe the craziest ingredient that you put into a beer? I know you've got a lot. <laughs> it doesn't sound crazy. It's more like the amount that we put in. We hand peeled 400 pounds of bananas once, and bananas isn't like a crazy ingredient, but peeling 400 pounds of bananas was a crazy task. 400 pounds? Yeah. Not 400 bananas, no, 400, 400 pounds. pounds like okay. cases and cases of bananas. Wow. That's one of the rare beers that we made that did not turn Didn't out. even go on at the pub? No, it was called Bananas and Blow. It was a Hefeweizen with bananas and cocoa. We made it the first time and it was a complete failure. So all of that work was for nothing. But we did make it again and it turned out. It dovetails into the business part too because we were so removed from you know, a, a main thoroughfare on traffic. We're so removed from major uh, highways or cities that we really needed to develop something that was extraordinary to give people a reason to venture so far out of the way to come visit us and see what we were doing. To celebrate this innovation, Shorts closes down a highway and converts downtown Bel Air into the perfect venue for their 12th annual anniversary party. I think the thing that's, that I'm most proud of in my career is building a team of this caliber who can do such great things. And making beer is one part of it, but changing an entire community or a region, that's, that's just powerful stuff. And I have you all to thank for that. So. Happy anniversary. Well, you know, I'm wondering, are, the, are we going to be able to get all the people that are coming to this thing in that place? All right, Shannon, it is time for the Shorts Annie Party. I literally can't wait. Let's go. Shorts has so many beers that you really have to come up here to get like the beer, like all the beer, so it's totally worth it. I like the music and of course uh, the brews. We, shorts is a 
it's a, it's a destination, so it's, it's on the calendar all year long. Come here for music, and the food's getting better and better. And people are just awesome up here and up north. It's just, you can't ask for anything better as far as that. Welcome to the uh, 12th Annual State of the Brewery Address. So this year's theme is Be More Awesomer. And I'm just going to focus on that. Well, the State of the Brewery Address, that's, that's always kind of a stressor, but after that, all I get to worry about is walking around talking to people who are excited about what we're doing, who've been supporting us the whole time, and just thank them and get to know them. Like, that's my focus for the day, is to just really absorb the people who have come to support and enjoy what we do. Uh, what I love about Shorts is their experimentation with like different flavors. They go all out. Michigan has like just a ton of great breweries. You know, there's a great brewery around every corner. I like Shorts. I like their beer. I like mm -hmm. the craft beer movement. Mm -hmm. I like everything about it. It's talking to people and like their love of being there, and it really, I think, like that gives us a lot of energy for a few months after that, just knowing that people, how people respond to the brewery. Joe, killer party, man. Thank you for coming. Be more awesomer. <laughs> cheers to Pure Brews America. Cheers. Cheers. We hope you enjoyed this run of Pure Brews America during Michigan Craft Beer Month. And no worries, we are coming back in October. <laughs> more breweries, more stories, and more craziness. We will see you in the fall on Pure Brews America.